bring them sounds at one time. I'm up early in the morning, huh? To get the scrella, scrella. blue face pillar, face pillar. the blade dealer. Uh, make a nigga forfeit, yeah. cause I'm the realest. Hey, niggas talking short shit, nah, I need a million. Uh. Big stepper, Big stepper. yeah. I be stepping, stepping. Cooling kit with the flip switch, bitch. That's the weapon. No drama. drama. Welcome to New York Giants. Full access. Nice legend. Bring them sounds at one time. I'm hard, and we got you. And that's it, man. Go purchase Big Passports Talk merch and support the family, man. And welcome to Big Passports Talk. Thank you for your support. Lindsay, we'll see a more methodical approach. Here is May, going to fire it deep, and it's caught Jones at the 20. Inside the 10, first and goal. What's going on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all platforms? Welcome to another episode of New York Giants Full Access with your boy Big Pat Sports Talk. And today's subject is we're going to be talking about New York Giants head coach Brian Debo and the statement that he made that he feels that this quarterback draft class in 2024 is one of the best draft classes he's seen in a long time. Probably since, you know, Maybe his Josh Allen draft class, maybe that draft class. He said this is one of the best ones he's seen in a long, seen in a long time. And they have inter interest in a lot of quarterbacks. He's going to the LSU Pro Day, which was today, and they watched Jaden Daniels throw. He's going to go to uh, Drake May's Pro Day at North Carolina. You know we have North Carolina ties. They like J.J. McCarthy. There's been a couple of Bo Nicks rumblings. I don't know if they're in on Michael Penix. But they have a plethora of quarterbacks to choose from if they so choose to say, hey, look, we need to get our franchise quarterback this draft. We can see what Daniel Jones can do this year. But we're going to go ahead and get our replacement plan for Daniel Jones. Go ahead and get it rolling. And if they do do that, I know you guys think that I'm a Daniel Jones lover or I'm going to be mad if Daniel Jones is gone. That is far from the case. If they do decide to get a quarterback this draft, all I hope is, is they don't trade up to get one of these quarterbacks. Now, the way that is looking, it looks like the Vikings want to get in that, uh, get, get their quarterback. The Patriots may take a quarterback. Washington probably is going to take a quarterback. And you know the Bears are taking Caleb Williams. So they may have to trade up to get that quarterback if they fall in love with one of these quarterbacks. Unless someone like a Drake May or J.J. McCarthy falls to them. Or Jaden Daniels may fall to them. Who knows? But I just don't want them to trade up to get a quarterback. But if Brian Dayball and Joe Shane are in love with these quarterbacks, you got to accept the fact that they're getting ready to move on from Daniel Jones. And I'm totally fine with that. They look like they've built the trenches up to where they at least have a fighting chance, which is good. But, hey, let's listen to what Jordan Renan has to say, and then we're going to talk about if we do replace Daniel Jones, which quarterbacks should we consider? Let's look into it. On the scene at the NFL owners' meetings and joins us now. Jordan, what more can you tell us about the Giants' plans there for quarterback in this quarterback room next season? Well, it's funny, we were sitting here in the hallways here in Orlando, and the Giants brass just walked by, so I told Joe Shane he could sit down and we'll ask him who they're going to take at number six and if they're going to draft a quarterback, and what he said was, we don't even know yet, so the Giants haven't made that decision yet. What we do know is that they've been very adamant about that Daniel Jones is going to be their starter. To and that is very true. Daniel Jones will be the starter next year because you have him on the contract, and it's just, he may be the best option for them next year unless they do draft one of these quarterbacks and they feel that he's better than Daniel Jones, which that quarterback will play. Now, one thing comes in the option is if Daniel Jones gets hurt again and it's for the season, he can't pass his physical the next year, $25 million becomes fully guaranteed, which will make the release of Daniel Jones just a little bit harder next year. 
So you, that comes into play as well. It's a business as well. If they bench Daniel Jones, you pretty much know why they did it. To start the season, Drew Locke will be his backup. But that doesn't mean the Giants are necessarily not going to take a quarterback. They're looking for quarterbacks. They've already seen Caleb Williams uh, pro day out in USC. Joe Shane was there. They've had J.J. McCarthy. They've had Drake May in for visits. So the Giants are clearly looking, and they own the number six pick in this draft. Now, John Mara did say, even though that Daniel Jones, they expect him to be the starter, when he said, if you draft a quarterback, does that mean this is the end of Daniel Jones? And he said, no. Why does that have to be the case? Let them compete. Let them As you can see, the total QBRs for our quarterbacks last year were absolutely awful. And you look at Daniel Jones' stats, he was 1-5 as, as a starter, 36 total QBR, only 152 pass yards per game, two touchdowns to six interceptions. Stats are not quite stacking up to what uh, Taylor and DeVito did. Those guys combined went five and six. And a lot of people say were saying that the offense was so much more explosive than when Daniel Jones is there. But me was in there. But me looking at this chart, looks like we averaged more pass yards per game when Daniel Jones was in there. Crazy, huh? That people let the optics fool them like that. You would think that Tyrod Taylor and uh, and Tommy DeVito were averaging way more pass yards per game than what Daniel Jones was. But hey, it is what it is. That's why I want to get a weapon. But, I digress. Um, that was Jordan Renan talking about the Giants getting another quarterback. They're trying to draft another quarterback. So, let's get to the next section. And let's talk about who should the, the Giants draft if they do go quarterback. All right, so the Giants may draft a new quarterback this year. And let's talk about some of the candidates that they have in order that, and that they have in this NFL draft to draft to replace Daniel Jones. Who should replace Daniel Jones? Let's talk about the people's champion, Mr. Jaden Daniels. Mr. Jaden Daniels, super, super, super athletic quarterback. Coming off a season where he won the Heisman. I think he got over 50 total touchdowns, over 5,000 total yards, and was absolutely electric out there. Him, Malik Neighbors, Knicks, Brian Thomas Jr., plethora of other weapons. What I think Jaden Daniels can bring to this team is supreme athleticism for one. I think he's I think he's gonna be one of those guys that can outrun plenty of guys when he gets to the NFL still. I think he has very good pocket presence as well. His pocket presence is very, very good. Considering his size and the way that he plays. I think we should run, if we do decide to draft Jaden Daniels, let's just say some reason he drops the number six to us. I think we should run a heavy RPO system with Jaden Daniels starting out in his career and slowly progress him more and more with the, with the play call sheet. But I believe a heavy RPO system with the speed that we have on the field with Wondell Robinson, Slayton, and Hyatt. Now, let's say we can get a Xavier Leggett or somebody in the second round. That could be pretty deadly. I believe him and Singletary can form a very good running duo back there. I do believe he's a 3,000-yard, close to 1,000-yard uh, running quarterback every year. I believe what Lamar Jackson does over there with the Ravens, you could do with Jaden Daniels if you form a system based on Jaden Daniels' skill set. Now, is this saying that he cannot be a, a pocket quarterback that can eat you alive? No, he can develop into that. And you really talking about getting something then. But I would like to see him throw more of those deep comeback routes to the, the opposite hash. Definitely would love to see him throw more uh, routes in the middle of the field, those deep dig routes. I do believe he could do that. The people that say that he can't do that, you're not watching film. He does that very well as well. But 
The only concern I have is him taking those hits. If he doesn't take those hits, he's going to have a very long career because you, you're not going to catch him. And I believe he throws one of the best deep balls coming out of coming out of college this year. So Jaden Daniels is a very intriguing uh, prospect. And I'm not mad if the Giants draft him. But he is the people's champion. This is the guy a lot of people are saying that it's going to be the next big thing besides Caleb Williams. And I don't blame you. Uh, he had a very great college season. I just think he's a football player, man. Some some guys are just football players. They just make plays happen. They just make things happen sometimes. And I believe he has a lot of that in him. So I wouldn't be mad at Jaden Daniels. All right, next on the chopping list, man. We talked about Jaden Daniels, man. Let's talk about Mr. Drake May. Drake May from North Carolina. I believe this is the odds on favor to get drafted by the New York Giants. I do believe he could fall to the number six pick if the Patriots are not all in on him. I think the I, is the guy that the Giants like. Um, he's the he's the prototype quarterback that you know Brian Dable loves to work with. Athletic, tall, big, pretty good arm. I just hope they don't draft him thinking that he's going to be a Josh Allen type. I think Drake May needs a lot of work. Uh, his footwork needs a lot of work. He's very inconsistent with every, just about every pass. Like he, He'll be on one game, and then the very next game, he couldn't hit the side of a barn. Uh, I do believe he's a talented individual, but I think he needs two to three years to develop. And I mean really good development in order for him to be the, I guess, the guy complex uh, quarterback that these New York Giants fans want. And I think he has a little issue at reading coverages. To be honest with you, when you look at the tape, when you look at the tape against Clemson, when you look at the tape, uh, what was the team? Uh, North Carolina State. When you look at those tapes, man, it, it, it really shows the flaws that he has in his game. And to be honest with you, I think Daniel Jones could do everything Drake May can do for you and is more athletic. Drake May is not as athletic as advertised. But this is not a hit piece. I do believe that he has talent. And if anybody can get the talent out of talent out of him is, is Brian Debo. So let's see. Uh, I do believe this is the odds on favor for the Giants to pick if they do co go quarterback in the first round. I do believe this is the guy that is the most accessible. Just to be honest with you. Um, so if Drake may. Drake! Is a New York Giant. I would cheer for him just like I cheer for Daniel Jones, Tyrod Taylor, Tommy DeVito, Mike Glennon, Jake Fromm. I'll cheer for him too. I just think there's some issues there that all those North Carolina quarterbacks have. Sam Howell, TJ Yates, Mitchell Trubisky, all those guys, man. Those guys playing that Mac Brown system. And maybe he he can, you know, get off the Mac Brown train and be a better quarterback in the NFL than his counterparts or his predecessors, I mean. So, it is what it is, man. Drake May, I do believe this is the guy that the New York Giants will get if they go quarterback in the first round. All right, this is the last guy I'm going to talk about. Um, it's going to be J.J. McCarthy. This is another guy that the hype train is very real. But I do believe he has a higher upside than a lot of these other quarterbacks. He's young, has a rocket arm, can put the ball in places that these other quarterbacks can't in, in, in most instances. Um, very athletic, plays off script, winning quarterback, played for an NFL coach and uh, Jim Harbaugh, knows how to run the system, sacrificed his stats for the team. And I do believe this guy is very smart. And I do believe this guy can throw any pass on the field that you need him to throw. Now the question is on J.J. McCarthy is his body of work. See, he played at Michigan where there was a heavy run team, which I don't mind. It got them a championship, didn't it? But he doesn't have the resume of throwing all those passes in the second half like a Caleb Williams or Jaden Daniels, Bo Nix, uh, Michael Penix, Drake May. He doesn't have a resume that these guys have because 
he played within the system that he was asked to at Michigan, which Jim, uh, what Jim Harbaugh asked him to do, which is make plays in the first half, get leads, and then we're going to suffocate them with the run game in the second half and go ahead and get out of whatever stadium they in with a victory, which worked to perfection last year because they were holding up the natty at the end of the year. But when he did throw, you saw some amazing things happen. When he did have to go off script and make things happen, he did it. Whenever they called upon J.J. McCarthy at Michigan this year to get something done for the team, he did it. He came through every time. That's why they were undefeated, and that's why they're the champions. And that's something to be said. To be 27-1 and as a starter, that's, that's pretty doggone good, man. So, J.J. McCarthy at six, it very well can happen. I, I have heard rumblings that they are very intrigued with uh, J.J. McCarthy. So, if he's the next quarterback of the New York Giants, I'm not going to be mad at it. So, it is what it is. I mean, J.J. McCarthy at number six, I, I, I hope you guys don't treat him like you treated Daniel Jones. Because, oh, it's the number six pills. We didn't get a Drake May or Jaden Daniels or a Caleb Williams or a Michael Penix. You know, are, are you going to trash him for that? We will see. But there's a very good chance J.J. McCarthy could be a New York Giant coming draft uh, night, day one. So, guys better get prepared. But that's it on J.J. McCarthy, man. We'll, we'll see. All right, so you got a little bit of... What I'm thinking about the new the, these quarterbacks that are coming out um, in this NFL draft, Brian Dable says one of the best draft classes he's seen in a while. You got to trust his judgment. He's supposed to be the quarterback whisperer, so I'm going to listen to him. And if they do decide to get one of these quarterbacks, I'm not going to be mad. I'm going to be cheering just as hard as if they drafted Malik Neighbors or Marvin Harrison Jr. Because it's all uh, big blue, man. It's all big blue. So if they decide to move on at quarterback, I'm not going to be mad. Daniel Jones had his chance. It's been five years, which will be six years next year. And maybe sometimes you just need to change, change the scenery. But they fixed the trenches. Hopefully they fix the trenches. Hopefully the trenches are playing better. And if they do get this new guy, hopefully he has a chance to be better than what Daniel Jones was working with. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button, hit that uh, subscribe button, hit that big blue join button, and join Big Pass Sports Talk and the Big Blue Crew and talk your talk with Big Pass Sports Talk. And get the merch. All the clicks on the merch. You gotta get the merch, man. Cop your hat, hoodie, shirt, sleeve, I don't care, a banner, cup, mug shoes joggers whatever you need man we got it at the big passport shop man but thank you guys for watching and until the next episode of new york giants full access with your boy big passports talk you know what it is man peace Welcome to New York Giants for access.